What's up guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard and today we're gonna to be talking about five different online options in one video. We're gonna be seeing how the All's Well, Tuft & Needle, Puffy, Sattva, and Dream Cloud beds all stack up against each other. So these are pretty popular online options and if you've maybe been shopping around the online space for a new bed, you've come across a couple, but when it comes down to it, who is ultimately gonna be right for which bed? That's what we're gonna to try to determine for you in this video. So I think if you're open-minded, this video is gonna be pretty comprehensive for you and pretty much be all you need, but but just in case it's not, check the description for a lot more helpful content and links. And if you enjoy this video, you get something out of it and we point you towards your next online bed, give this video a like and subscribe to The Slumberyard for so much more. We really appreciate your support over here. But now let's get into this five bed mega comparison. At the Alrighty, let's start things off by talking about the general policies that should apply at bare minimum to all of these mattress picks that I'm about to cover. And just for the record, we did receive all of them for free from their respective brands to review so we can tell you guys about them and test them out over here at the Slumberyard. But at bare minimum, all should get to you with completely free shipping. Now, the methods in which they get to you are gonna differ slightly. One is gonna ship to you full size. The rest are probably gonna show up in a big box through standard bend -a box shipping. And the whole unboxing process for bend -a box options is really easy and straightforward to do. It's actually kind of fun if you have a friend there to help you out, but regardless of how they exactly get to you, once they are in your possession, you're also backed by at least a 100 night trial period with all of them. So you get a nice chunk of time with all of these mattresses, at least three full months, and some go above and beyond that standard. Now, if you find within that time frame that these beds aren't exactly right for you and your preferences, that's totally fine. You can get completely free returns with all but one. One will probably charge you a nominal transportation fee if you do wanna send it back, but we highly doubt many folks are gonna be doing that any time soon since you're already doing your research here by watching this video. So in the case you do wanna keep these beds, which I think should be the case for most folks out there, you're gonna be backed by at least a standard 10 year warranty with them all. And again, a lot of them go above and beyond that standard. So if you need any more information about the specific policies for any one of these picks that I'm about to cover, check in the description for so much more. But now with the policy stuff out of the way, let's jump right into this review with our first bed and that is the All's Well. Now All's Well is a brand that's owned by Walmart, which is obviously a huge corporation. So they're backed by a really large company. and the All's Well is a really budget-friendly option that's also pretty quality. It's a hybrid bed that uses coils for support, so it's gonna be able to withstand and handle all body types right off the bat. And right above those coils, it uses a layer of gel memory foam that's just beneath a quilted cover. And this whole design of the All's Well gives it more of a standard and firm neutral foam feel. So because of that top layer of memory foam, you might find a little bit of a sinking sensation on the All's Well, but the more responsive nature of the coils below and some of the elements within that quilted cover help to balance the entire memory foam sensation out to make it feel more neutral to us at least. All in all, with the All as well, I think you're getting a really accommodating feel and you're also getting a hybrid mattress here. Now, in terms of firmness, it is gonna be slightly on the firmer end of the spectrum. We would clock it right in between a medium and a medium firm, maybe even closer to that medium firm end for more average sized individuals. So it should work fine for all sleeper types right off the bat, but if you're more of a primary back or stomach sleeper and you're looking for a lot more support from your bed, you might wanna go the route of the All as well here. The bed also uses reinforced coils along the edges to amount for some pretty solid edge support if you happen to sleep pretty close to those edges at night. And for the overall level of quality that you're getting with the All's Well, it's not bad at all in terms of price. A queen size currently retails for a little over the $375 mark, which is a steal for a hybrid bed online these days. Since it's already priced so affordably, we're not quite sure what exactly they're offering in terms of discounts or promotions with the All's Well, but you can be sure whatever is current is gonna be found down below in the description box if you want to save even more money on it. Next up, we have the Puffy mattress. And unlike the All's Well, this is an all foam mattress, which means it's entirely comprised of various foam layers and does not use any coils for support. And this bed became really popular after it was featured on the Ellen Show. So a lot of people know it from there. In terms of construction, it uses dense support foam on the bottom. And then above that, you have a transitional layer of a more responsive style of foam. And then on top, it features the company's proprietary cooling cloud foam, which is basically a more responsive gel memory foam. And this construction gives the Puffy mattress 
captures a really interesting soft blended foam feel. So because it uses that layer of cooling cloud foam on top, you can get some sink in sensation if you're a little bit heavier, but more average sized people will probably find this bed to be pretty dang neutral overall. To us, it strikes a really nice balance of feel and you should be getting the best of both worlds in terms of overall pressure relief you get from the bed and support. So really nice balance here. It should be a really accommodating bed to most sleeper types out there in terms of feel and also in terms of firmness. It's right around a medium on our scale. So it should be a great option whether you like to sleep on your back, switch to your side, to your stomach, or a combination of all three at night, you should be pretty set with this option. However, if you do want a softer Puffy mattress, Puffy as a brand offers the Puffy Royal and Lux beds, which are gonna be on the softer end of the spectrum, more so tailored for specific side and combination sleepers. And we'll try to link those beds down below in the description box for you guys to check out if you're interested. But the cool thing about all of these Puffy mattresses is that they feature machine washable covers on top. So if you like to keep your mattress cover tidy or it gets dirty somehow, you can just unzip that cover and throw it into your washing machine, which makes it a great option if you're looking for something that you can easily clean on a regular basis. So machine washable cover, always nice to have. Now pricing for the Puffy mattress is usually right around the $1,050 mark for the queen size after discount. Puffy is one of those mattress brands that likes to offer really nice discounts and promotions on their mattresses. So check in the description to see whatever is current with them. Now an even simpler all foam mattress that's just two foam layers that's perfect for any guest room or maybe even your kid's room or your own bedroom would probably be the original Tufted Needle. This is a really accommodating, straightforward bed, as I've said. It's made up of dense support foam on the bottom and then their proprietary T and N adaptive foam on top, which gives it a soft neutral foam feel. Simply put, the original Tufted Needle just feels like a comfy foam bed. That's exactly what you're getting when you go the route of this mattress. So a lot of people out there don't really know what they want exactly in terms of a mattress's overall firmness and feel, just something that's really comfy. And that's exactly what you're getting with the original Tufted Needle, just a no frills mattress that'll work for just about anyone out there. In terms of firmness, it's right at a flat medium on our scale. So again, good for all sleeper types, backside, stomach, and combination. If you do want a softer version of this bed, they offer the mint and the mint hybrid, which both skew towards you know a medium soft, great for side and combo sleepers. We'll have those options linked down below in the description box as well for you. But we think the vast majority of sleepers out there are gonna be able to get down with the feel and firmness that's found on the original Tufted Needle. Now, in terms of pricing, it usually retails for just shy of the $1,000 mark for the queen size. And again, check the description box for whatever discounts we can find for you. Now, next up on the list, we have the Sava Classic, which is this bed sitting right behind me. And this bed is a more luxurious premium pillow top option. And unlike the other beds that I've just stated, this bed ships to you via complimentary white glove delivery. So unlike bed in a box shipping, which is pretty much the standard for most online beds, a local delivery team will actually bring this bed to your home full size. They'll set it up for you. And in a lot of cases, they'll even remove your old mattress at no additional cost. This is a really nice service to have, especially if you live in a really inconvenient location or you're just not physically able to unbox a big burly pillow top bed by yourself. White glove delivery is always nice to have. Now, in terms of this bed's construction, this is a hybrid mattress that uses coils for support. So it's likely gonna be able to handle and withstand all body types right off the bat. And it actually uses two different layers of coils. So you've got inner springs on the bottom, then a layer of pocketed coils above that. And above all those coils, it uses memory foam and a nice European pillow top that's wrapped up with an organic cotton cover. This design gives the Sava Classic more of a traditional style of mattress feel, which is kind of a traditional inner spring or even a pillow top feel. So when you first hop on this bed, it might feel like a nice comfy hotel bed, something that a lot of folks are probably used to out there. And if you're someone who likes the bounce and support that you find from a hybrid bed, I think you're likely gonna enjoy the feel of the Sava Classic. Now, in terms of firmness, this bed is available in three different firmness levels. You've got a plush soft, a luxury firm, and a firm option to choose from. We like to recommend people their luxury firm as it's right around a medium firm on our scale. So it should work for all sleeper types with a slight support advantage for back and stomach sleepers. Now, if you do want a medium firmness right off the bat, look into their plush soft, but just know all beds do soften up as you use them. So you almost wanna start out with something that's a little bit firmer than a medium and have it come down to that firmness over time. So just keep that in mind going forward. Now, one thing about the Sava Classic is that there is a lumbar support in the middle center third of the bed. So it has a little bit of a zone support feature that's there to help keep your back more properly aligned at night as you sleep. You might not even notice that's even there on the Sava Classic, but it could be beneficial if you suffer from something like chronic back pain on a nightly basis. This bed could help mitigate that. Now, since this is a more luxurious premium hybrid online offering, the pricing is gonna be a little up there, but it's also not bad considering the level of quality that you're getting here. Right now, as of when I'm doing this video, you can expect to 
pick up a queen size for just shy of the $1,800 mark after discount. And Sava as a brand never used to run discounts, but they now usually will. And we should have something to help save you the most amount of money with this brand down below in the description box if you're interested in checking that out. And last but certainly not least, we couldn't do this review without talking about the Dream Cloud mattress, which is another really nice hybrid offering with a pillow top that most fans of memory foam should also be a fan of. I'm mainly gonna be talking about the flagship Dream Cloud for this video, but you can also check out the Premier option or their Premier Rest. We'll try to link those options in the description box. But in terms of their original mattress, this bed uses coils for support on the bottom, and then it has various comfort foams above that, including memory foam. And rounding everything out, the bed has a tufted pillow top with even a little bit of cashmere woven into that. And this design of the original Dream Cloud gives it more of a fluffy pillow top feel with a hint of memory foam mixed in. So a lot of people should be finding the Dream Clouds feel to be really accommodating because you're gonna get a bit of sink in from those memory foam layers in it, but the responsiveness from the coils is gonna help to balance a lot of that out and neutralize it. So at the end of the day, you're getting a really accommodating hybrid mattress here. And it's also right around a medium in terms of firmness. So again, it should appeal to the vast majority of sleeper types out there, backside, stomach, and combination. Now, in terms of pricing, it's also not half bad for the overall level of quality that you're getting here, especially when you compare it to something like Safa. As of when I'm doing this video, you can pick up a flagship Dream Cloud for right around $800 after discount for that queen size, of course. And that, again, is a steal for a bed like this. We should have some sort of discount or promotion associated with Dream Cloud linked down below in the description box, along with ones that should apply to all of the other beds that I went over in this video. And speaking of that, that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this five bed mega comparison. Which of these options are you ultimately gonna go with and why? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Have you tried one of these beds out? You know? Write us down below. Now, tons more information that I maybe couldn't cover in this review is gonna be found down below in the description box. We'll have our full written reviews, other comparisons with these beds, buyer guides with them on it, and of course, discounts to help save you some money. And if you do decide to use those discount codes, it actually helps us out a lot over here at the Slumberyard, and we really appreciate your support. Speaking of support, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe to the Slumberyard for so much more, but that's gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with the Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well out there, and like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.